I have been getting a bunch of questions from you guys in the comments asking me how, Sky Money, how you keep getting these dope shots? And now, I knew you guys were a bunch of ninjas, but y'all are serious with this one. And now, come on, y'all know I got y'all black plus. We overdue for a drip check anyway. So today we are talking about how I've been getting some extra sauce in the vlogs with the Hover Air X1. And a quick disclaimer, Hover did send me the Hover Air X1, plus they are also partnering today's drip check. Boss! A whole lot pimping don't get it twisted because they not telling me what to say, plus y'all know everybody could get the smoke. But also not for nothing, it's actually really good. <laughs> like I'm just being real. I'm just super saying. <laughs> And done with my meeting. <laughs> All right, now we got that out of the way. Let's go ahead and talk about the Hover Air X1. <laughs> this is the Hover Air X1. In the box, you are getting the drone, a battery, and a nice pouch, along with a USB Type C cable. And yeah, that is um. That is all that's in the box because there is no remote, which to me, that's actually a good thing because this is a self-flying drone. There's also no calibrating too because that was, that is such a buzzkill to me personally when I, now look, your boy Sky Money loves drones, but I always hate it how you always have to calibrate. Like legit, all you do is unfold it, hold your hand out, press the button, and let it go. So for everybody who kept asking me how I've been getting those shots and like literally giving me time codes of those shots, there won't been from this, the Hover Air X1. I've had it for a few weeks now and I've been playing with it a lot, trying to see how it could fit into what I do with my vlogs. And not for nothing, like I said earlier, it is actually pretty good. And when it comes to image quality, you are getting 2.7K at 30 frames per second, as well as 1080 at 60. And now you're not getting 4K but I think that is actually a plus. And the only reason I say that is because the type of shots you'll be getting from the Hover Air X1, you can get away without having 4K, and the 2.7K looks boss. And now when it comes to build quality, it's pretty solid. It's made out of plastic, has some guards on the side so that if it bumps into anything, nothing gets hurt, you won't cut yourself. It is really, really well built. And it's also extremely light. For example, my cell phone is definitely heavier than the Hover Air X1. Which means, him and I've had no problem folding it up and just putting it in my pocket and going. And then when I'm ready to get the shot, I just pull it out of my pocket, unfold it, and just let it do its thing. And usability is also something that you'll notice right away is incredibly easy. And him and like, I mean, even for me on the go doing these vlogs, it has been so convenient to literally just turn it on, press the mode I want, which is mostly follow mode. I ain't gonna lie. I've been mainly using follow mode. So yeah, I would legit hold my hand out, let it do its thing for a bit, get the dope shots that I want, and then hold my hand back out and let it come back and then fold it back up and put it in my pocket. And I'm Gucci. And now from what I read, it doesn't have sensors, which is strange because this thing's tracking is incredible. I mean, even walking past trees and all that, it it still tracks you, like it does not lose, even in low light. I did it, I got a shot in a tunnel and it totally tracked me throughout the entire tunnel. And again, it doesn't have any sensors. And now, although it does not have remote, you can use your phone as a remote in manual mode. But to be honest again, this is more of a self-flying drone. So I, I wouldn't even recommend using it in manual mode unless you have to. I mean, I have popped it in manual mode just to get some like low to the ground, like tracking shots. But for the most part, I'm mainly leaving it in follow mode. And now when it comes to battery life, you are not getting that long of a flight time. You're getting maybe 15 minutes. I mean, that's what I've been seeing when I've been getting my shots is average around 15 minutes, which in my opinion is more than enough time to like just get the quick shots that I need for my B-roll for my vlogs. And if you do want flight times longer than that, I would highly recommend getting their extra battery along with the charging hub. But in my opinion, I don't think you really need it. I think one battery, 15 minutes, is all you need to get the shot that you're most likely gonna want to get. Because to be honest, I haven't really ran out of battery unless I was just trying to test it to see how long the battery would last. That's pretty much the only time I've ever ran out of battery. For the most part, when it comes to getting the shots that I wanted, I was able to just toss it up, get it, boom, boom, 
and I was Gucci. But that's just my opinion. And now since this is a self-flying drone, it comes with different modes. You have modes like bird's eye view, you have hover, you also have follow mode, which is a mode that I use the most. You also have dolly, orbit, and zoom out. But the mode that I, again, tend to use is follow mode because I like to just press the button and let it go and then get some tracking shots of me walking or riding my bike. And I've also been playing around with dolly mode as well, but follow mode is still my favorite. And follow mode basically allows the drone to follow you from the back, while dolly allows it to follow you from the front. Then you have orbit, which will basically take the drone and make it orbit around. With zoom out mode being exactly what it says, which is the drone will basically go up and fly away from you getting that kind of like zoom out shot. And now all the modes also have icons on the drone itself and you forget it will just tell you what mode you're in when you select your mode. Mouse. And now one thing to note is that it's not supposed to go over water. They do not recommend flying this over water, but pimping, I, I flew it over water. I mean, that's how I got this shot right here. <laughs> like, hey, 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 look, I'm not telling you to fly it over water. All I'm saying is that it worked for me. I mean, but I'm, I'm dangerous, I'm dangerous. It is not recommend to fly over water. And I was using this for a couple of weeks now. There are a couple of things that I have noticed. First one being, I think the voice is too loud. Like every, like every time I turn it on and it tells me the boat, like I gotta make sure I'm like outside somewhere where no one is around me. Cause yeah, it's like, it, it, it's kind of loud. Hover, zoom out, follow. And then lastly, I think the footage is too sharp. But like I said earlier, you can always soften it in post to get the look that you want. But overall, the image is, the image quality is actually not bad. And now, will it replace any of your heavy hitter drones like the Mavic Pro or the Mavic Air? Of course not. This is not what, that's not what this is about. <laughs> this is more for somebody who wants to just toss it up and get a dope shot of themselves quick. Not anything crazy, not like FPV flying, no landscape shots, none of that. This is for you getting dope shots of yourself and your family or something like that extremely quickly. Which is perfect for me living here in the Netherlands because yeah, I can't, I can't use my Mavic Air so. And I like drones, man. I, I like drones. So zero robotics, I'm a good have to say. The Hover Air X1 definitely passes the drip check. You, you guys got me good, okay? Y'all got me good. So huge shout out to Zero Zero Robotics for sending the Hubby Air X1 over. And also thank you so much for being a partner of today's drip check. And if you wanna check out the Hubby Air X1, there is a link in the description down below. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you like it, don't like it. But if not, that's cool. Y'all already know I ain't a hater. And now I need to get back to work. And yes, I had tea today. I, uh, telling y'all I've been sick. Oh, goodness. Ginger tea. <laughs> ah, time to get up out of here. Woo. Oh man, that was a long, long day. But overall, really, really good. Like, nothing to complain about. Except for that, I, I am still sick. Woo, man. You can like hear it in my voice. <laughs> oh man, don't make me laugh, don't make me laugh it. It hurts to laugh. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. And hopefully you guys will check out the Hover Air X1. Again, it is, it is boss. <laughs> Link down below. <laughs> and if you also wanna help and support the channel, you can also buy me a coffee, which also has a link down below. But if not, no tea, no shade, cause y'all know I ain't a hater. My hood never let me be a hater. Even when I'm sick. <laughs> no, but seriously though, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it because I enjoyed making it. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>